Welcome to the game of life. Not that game of life, but the real game of life. And today I am going to teach you everything you need to know about playing as a cheetah character. Firstly, we need to choose the difficulty. There is an easy mode, a normal mode, and a hardcore mode. The hardcore mode might be overkill, since there are no checkpoints or any means to respawn. And when you die, well, I don't know what happens when you die, but you can't start over most probably. So nobody would choose to play on hardcore mode, that is if the other options were viable. But this is the game of life, and we don't actually have easy or normal difficulty, and you can only play on hardcore. Now let's start! You'll start the game as a cheetah cub in the harshest server out there, the African Savanna server which is the home of many top-tier predators. Not only that, but cheetah cubs are also blind and small at birth and don't have the stats of an adult cheetah yet. The 3 to 5 cubs will have to rely on the mother player, which will bring them food and will protect them as well as she can. The mother can't face larger predators like lions, leopards and hyenas directly, so she will try her best to drive predators away from her cubs, being the bait herself. You as a cub are pretty much defenseless and you can only rely on the mental ability. This ability makes the young cheetah players look like the fearless honey badger, a small character that many large predators prefer to avoid due to its tough attitude. With their greyish backs and black sides, the cheetah cubs resemble the honey badger closely enough to get a second chance. The first three weeks of your life you'll feed on the mother player's milk, and then you'll unlock a new food source, meat. This is a very nutritious food source and gives the player a lot of XP needed for growth. A cheetah cub will reach full adult size in about 15 months from spawn. Still, there's a great drawback to playing as a cheetah character. The mortality rate of cubs is incredibly high, reaching 90%, so only 10% of them will reach maturity. This is how tough the game of life is. But, thankfully, you managed to defy the odds and became independent after 13 to 20 months from birth. So congratulations, you have unlocked the adulthood achievement. Now you have the maximum stats of a cheetah player. If you want to learn more about each stat, you can click on the i card in the top right corner to watch an animal battle video about cheetahs. Now you have two paths to follow. You can either choose the solitary playstyle, which is usually played by all female cheetahs and some males, or the team playstyle. Usually, cheetah brothers will play in teams, forming a small group called a coalition. They will live and hunt together, which grants them the possibility to take down larger prey like wildebeests and zebras, to defend their territories easier, and will have a higher chance of encountering females. Even if you are a solitary male with no brothers, you can find and join a coalition. I would recommend the team play style, because the African server is already hard. No matter which play style you choose, the most important thing is staying alive, and you need food to survive which is no longer brought to you by the mother player. Cheetahs usually hunt during dusk or dawn, when animals are the most active, and hunting can consist of 5 steps. Step 1. Use the Super Vision ability to locate prey. Cheetah players have the best vision from all terrestrial animals, being able to detect the prey from a distance of 5 kilometers. Cheetahs also have black lines around their eyes, which attract the sunlight so that they are not affected by the glare effect. So use this ability to locate a medium-sized prey like a blessbok, an impala or a gazelle. Step 2. Get closer to the prey. You need to crouch and move slowly to get in a range of 100 to 300 meters from your prey. Cheetahs have high stealth in the tall savanna grass because their fur is yellow with black spots. You can get as close as 60 meters from your prey in this way. Step 3. Run. This is the best ability of a cheetah. The cheetah character is designed for speed, having very high mobility on land. It is light and small compared to other big cats, has a long tail used for balancing and for quickly changing direction, a long and incredibly flexible spine and long feet for making big leaps and a small aerodynamic head. Plus, they don't have a retractable close ability specific to felids, which grants the cheetah a better grip for maximum efficiency. Due to this incredible design, Cheetahs can reach phenomenal speeds of 110 to 120 km per hour. The only drawback is that this ability requires a lot of energy, so you will need to reach the prey in less than 60 seconds or 500 meters before you run out of energy. Step 4. 
kill. Once you are close enough to your prey, you can hit it with your paw to trip it while running and bite its neck to inflict critical damage and to suffocate the prey. Step 5. Defend the kill. You will need to drag it to a safe place to prevent it from being stolen by larger predators. There you can recover your energy and gain HP while eating. Some attempts might not be successful, but you'll still gain experience over time. Now that you have food, you still need to watch out for predator players, which won't hesitate to kill you just because you crossed paths. Cheetahs are the sixth largest felids, but even so, they are way smaller than lions and leopards. Packs of hyenas and African wild dogs are also dangerous. You can't use the ability roar for intimidation since it is not available to cheetahs. You can either climb trees in some situations or just do what you are best at – run. Even a small wound might be fatal if it prevents you from hunting, so it is better to avoid fights with other cheetahs too, so you know how to survive by yourself. There is only one thing to do – produce new offspring. Males need to establish territories, marking them by urinating on trees and rocks. When the males from a coalition find a female, one of them needs to win the dominance over the others and will get to mate to pass on its genes. After three months, the female cheetah will give birth to new cubs and will take care of them, and so the circle of life starts over. You have successfully achieved your purpose and you can continue playing until you reach 10 to 15 years since birth. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like because it tells the YouTube algorithm that it should recommend this video to others. Also, what animal should I talk about in the next episode of Game of Life? Feel free to leave your opinions in the comments below and I will read all of them. And lastly, if you really enjoy my videos and want to support this channel, you can become a patron by clicking on the patron logo or on the link in the description to fill up that patron list with your name. Respect, animals.